parked in this spot in Portugal. Found this little parking spot next to the beach. It's real nice and peaceful. We'll do a little bit more driving today. Yeah, this parking spot's cool. It's like no one around, really. We're hitting the road. Gonna try to cover some uh, some coastline today. We're hunting for waves. We're in Portugal. And neither of us have shaved in them. <laughs> like two weeks or something. Portugal's cool. Cheap food. Uh, good vibes. Good beach vibes. Yeah, yesterday was sick. We just sat on the beach the whole day. Yeah. It was like the perfect temperature for a nap. Yeah. <laughs> And there was like a bar behind us on yeah. the beach that was playing like house music from like two o'clock onward, like all the way through the night. And like really good house music. Yeah. It was pretty cool. Yeah, it was cool. Is it running? We got a tip from a guy named Luis at the surf shop. He said to come down here. Are you putting the wetsuit on? Is it not that cold? You won't need it. Really? It looks surfable. Uh, thanks. Got it out the spot to sleep. It was kind of sketchy. <laughs> it was sketchy last night. There was just like a lot of weird cars driving in and out of here. And I don't really know what they were doing. So we're in Porto, Portugal. It's only like three hours deep into Portugal. We've been surfing, we've been um, looking for waves actually getting in the water. We're on our way to check check out a few spots this morning, so. It's kind of a little lookout. Oh, it looks sick. Look to the left. I think we were on the outskirts of Porto. It looks sick in there. There's like decent waves out here. Nobody's on it. Dude, that's crazy. Dude, you kind of look sick. There's like a few more jetties I want to try. Dude, look at those things up. On to the next jetty. Yep. We're on the Portugal tractor tour. <laughs> we saw <laughs> two really good waves. Yeah. It's pretty elusive. Yeah, I'll point you.
pretty fun. <laughs> Dude, you don't even want to see the wave that broke right when he went in. Really? Dude, it looks different from up here. It looks, looks like hollow, but it's just small. It's like too small to really like yeah. hollow. Yeah, yeah. But it's like rippable. Yeah, totally. Now it's my turn to hop in the water. <laughs> Round two. Yeah. It's kind of getting a little bit like, a little bit onshore. What's the water temp though? Dude, I'd say it's like 72. It's really nice, it's huh? pretty fucking warm. Trunks for sure. And the sun's out. Buddy, I got a homie in the water. He's like the local lifeguard here. Oh shit. He's like come by, like I'll show you like the spots to check, like when it's high tide and no way. When there's gonna be some swall, so that's sick. Uh, cool. I have some fun ones though. We're filling up right now. Yeah, I know it's going. Oh okay, cool. So soft. We bought some cheese. I bought the cheese. Jesus Christ. Just peel it back like that. <laughs> I guess. Dude, I want to eat the outside. Yeah, I wouldn't. So we just served for like two hours. And, um, we're hungry as shit. And, uh, this is probably like our favorite way to like eat lunch, which is like go to a supermarket and pick up whatever they got in their, in their bread section. This morning surf surf report. It's just breaking on the shore. Jumped in the water. 
We're gonna go get a coffee. We're gonna go get a coffee somewhere. What shirt am I gonna wear today? Kinda down to it. It's like... Yeah, all I have is one shirt. Old white. I have like a few, a few shirts. That's really it. La Madria. I oh, know. Yeah. The launch place that we've been going to has like one of the best detergent smells we ever, I've ever smelled. It's kind of like apple and cinnamon detergent. We'll probably go back there today. We went on a little run this morning on the beach and then took a shower at the public shower. We've been able to find parking spots just like right next to the ocean, like right next to the beaches. We found a good spot last night though. Yeah, we slept and really we slept good. We slept really good last night. It's been warm, so we've been um, sleeping really good. Dude, how about driving this thing? I'm the designated Siri, navigator. Siri is the co-pilot. Co co I translate Siri's instructions or directions. Dude, we have it kind of dialed though, like a system, like yeah. if you're navigating and be driving. Yeah, I'm, we kind of get around pretty well. We only crashed the thing once. <laughs> we crashed the thing. We've experienced a little bit of road rage. Yeah. <laughs> If you drove slow, you get honked up. There's been times where we were just driving and like a car would drive up next to us and like scream and honk at us and like drive <laughs> away and we like would have no idea what we did. Yeah. We probably did something too, we just had no idea. Well, that guy really had to pee. Pissing on the other road. Yeah. And it's manual. Yeah, that's kind of why you've been like the, the designated driver is because... I like barely know how to drive <laughs> manual. Um, oh, don't hit the pop hole. <laughs> that was bad. So you're gonna be going to so get in the left lane actually. Fucking thing this thing. Does it always look this messy in here? No. Only on laundry day. <laughs> <laughs> Looks better. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, me big. This is our favorite laundry place, huh? This place is sick. Yeah. Unlimited cappuccinos. Good smelling detergent. detergent. Uncrowded. Yeah, it's not. Chick's pretty cool. Chick's, <laughs> chick's sick. Clean clothes. Oh, you have the key? Yeah. You're not alcoholics? <laughs> this isn't what it looks like. Ice cold beer. Oh my god. Oh, you did make a cool out of your backpack. Yeah. We gotta do a beer review. So we're doing a, a little beer review. These are just um, five, five of, <laughs> five of <laughs> Portugal's best beer. Yeah, like the five main beer that we've seen. Portuguese beer. So this one's called Imperial. What can we learn about this on here? I'm not really learning anything. I can't read it. This is like nice and refreshing and light. <laughs> They're cold. Dude, this got. is really good. It's like cold, refreshing. Tastes like a Pacifico. It's like, it's really light. They could be great with a lime. Yeah, it's a light flavor. It's really good. Light, refreshing. Lager. Out of the five beers that we got, they range from like 30 cents to like one euro. I'm trying to figure out what it says. It says cerveza que, or cerveja que, and then it says seam. Yes. Yes. So, oh. yes, sir. <laughs> it says Simpson, Simpson whore. Uh. I don't know how you pronounce that. Yes, sir. It's a pretty good catchphrase. Mm -hmm. we, like, are we just trying a little bit and then kind of moving on? Or? I don't really, I don't want to have these foals piling up. <laughs> okay. So it's like you have to yeah, kill let's them. Them. Another Portuguese lager. This is probably like the most classic like beer we've seen in Portugal. Oh, the Super Bock. Every single like bar has this on draft. The most popular, probably lager we've seen yeah. here. Here, you can have that one. Ah, oh, sick. The last ones were 4.8, these are 5.2. These are really so cheap. These are Wait, these were are these like ones cheap? Yeah. It tastes exactly like the Imperial. <laughs> I was almost thinking that it had like a little bit more flavor. Yeah, no, it has, it, no, it has a slight bit more flavor, that's for yeah. sure. It's the same 
flavor, but a little bit stronger. Mm -hmm. It has like an aftertaste to it. The, other, the first one didn't really have an aftertaste. No, it was just like really light, mm -hmm. hardly any flavor. This has like a little bit more of a flavor. Let's see what we can learn. Sabor a cerveja lager portuguesa. It looks like it's 135 medals. Oh wow. Gold medals consecutively. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Super buck. Yep. Good old lager. It's a lager. I guess the next one has to just be top beer. After the super buck, I think this is the one I see around the most. 5%. This looks like as bad as tacky as like... Oh yeah, no, the, the graphic the design work is... Comes. Is horrible. It looks like a Dave and Buster's like logo or it something. It kind of looks like the beer in like Simpsons or something. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Okay. We'll different flavor. Yeah, definitely a different flavor. It's got a nostalgic flavor to it. This has like the flavor of like when you're a kid and you open up a toy, like a Star Wars action figure, and it's like that plasticky, rubbery flavor or mm. smell. <laughs> it's like if you were to put a rubbery, okay. plastic action mm. figure in your mouth. You know, Whoa. like the fresh out of the wrapper, rubbery. Yes, totally. It's good. <laughs> That's really weird that you like made that connection. But yeah, it tastes like if you were to put yeah. like an action figure in your mouth. It's really, really weird. good. <laughs> it's pretty good actually. Top beer is, It tastes different than the other top ones. Top beer might be my top favorite. Yeah, it's it's good. It's got a rubber nice rubber flavor to it. I think it's just nice mm. that it tastes different than the first two. Mm. It's like it's mm. the branding actually goes really well with how the flavor tastes now. But I mean, I don't know. That's pretty much uh, the flavor I'm getting on this one. <laughs> I'm just like trying to think about how I'm gonna get this all in my stomach in the next 20 seconds. Slow I think for me, like when you're when I'm drinking lagers, three's like my limit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You ready? <laughs> my stomach's like, why are you punishing me? I know. Oh, so much bubbles. <laughs> all right, next. Into the bag. What's next? <clears throat> What is it? What's the next one? Sagre. Sagres. And may I uh, show the camera the, the bottle opener for Please. for today? She's come in real handy. For uh, multiple reasons. Oh, it's 5%, so same as the last one, right? more bitter. Mm. I mean, good. Definitely. Yeah, it's good. It's bitter. I mean, the first three were like smoother, easier drinking, I think, than this one. I remembered this being really like nice and mellow the other day, but this is the most. This has the most. Most intense flavor of the four. I think you're right. Yeah. This, this is good, though. I mean, I'd probably I'd, good on draft, too. I'd rather have like some kick, some flavor. Good. It's good. Sagres since 1940. A lot of bubbles. Did you try it? Yeah. So this was the most, this had the most flavor. Good. Good shit. You're just gonna just slam your bottle, <laughs> slam your bottle to the ground. <laughs> on beer four, we just shatter the bottle. Of them. Just fucking shatter it on your head. <laughs> on beer five, we're opening it with our teeth. I mean, Crystal came onto my radar kind of like today. It's the last one. Yeah, that's a, the last beer that we have. Portuguese. Hey, it's a pilsner. Thank you, good sir. Pilsner. <coughs> yeah, I took some into my lungs. <coughs> I, I don't really taste anything. Yeah, I don't, really, <laughs> I don't think I taste anything. It tastes either. like water. <laughs> There's almost no flavor here. Nothing special. Nothing. Uh, nothing bad. Nothing good. You couldn't call it bad. Couldn't call it good either. But it'd be just, really hard to call it good. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's just. <clears throat> I like the can. It it seems like the most conservative approach to to a beer possible. It's Looks like they really, got five. A really standard 
label. I like the label. Really? It's better than uh, Top Beer. They got five gold medals, but uh, I love Super how, like, Buck got 30 consecutive gold medals. I love medals. how like, there's like people like going on runs like around us I in know. the park and we're just sitting on this bench just like pounding beer. Cristal. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Are these acorns in this tree? <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> what is it? No, no. Huh. It's really light. Yeah, I don't know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't drink it all. <laughs> Are you killing it? Gotta try. All right. Oh. <laughs> five is my brink, dude. Five is for sure like. I can't drink any more lagers after five. We're at the limit. Alright. Wanna pound it? Yeah. Ugh. Cool. So that was um the five. That was oh, the yeah. five. Was there more? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. So Lay yeah, that was that was all that was all five. Lay them out in your order. Um Put them in order of your favorite to least favorite. Oh, is that? Okay, cool. Easy. Done. We both liked the crystal the least. Oh, yeah, we did. <clears throat> and then tied for second and third mm -hmm. was Sawgrass and Superbuck. Yeah. You put Superbuck. Actually, we're really similar. That's really yeah, funny. Yeah, you put Superbuck. And then we're top the most. Yeah, so we both liked Imperial. I was and kind of top. on the fence with like the. I, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. Oh, yeah. That was good. That's how you drink uh, 10 beers, I guess. 15 minutes. <laughs> I don't know. Is there is there like a final conclusion? Portuguese beer? Is it good? Yeah, like as a whole? Yeah. Um, it's good. I don't know. Yeah, it's it as good. good as any beer. Final conclusion. Um, it's a really pretty day in the park. Final conclusion. What did we not like? We didn't like... Crystal. Crystal. <laughs> yeah. Was that it? Yeah. We both agreed that Crystal <clears throat> makes bad beer. <laughs> I'm so tired after that. <laughs> I think we should just go to bed. Yeah, I'm really tired. Get out of here.